All right, guys, we're back today at Vintique Motors, and we are driving a 1966 Chevrolet Corvette convertible. Four-speed manual transmission. I'm here with my buddy Adam. He's going to walk us around this real quick, and then we'll take it for a drive. Yeah, so like Chris said, 66 vet. It's finished in silver with a matching silver interior. Uh, this is a small block 327, 350 horse car, numbers matching. Uh, looking great with the side pipes, spin-off wheels, got a Stinger big block hood. Uh, you know, you can't beat that look, you know, especially with the matching silver interior. So, beautiful car. So, like Chris mentioned, this car right now is on Bring a Trailer. There's about five days left. Uh, you know, a little about the history of the car. It was owned for about 21 years, same owner from North Carolina uh, from 99 to the fall of 21. Uh, in 2012, he had a restoration done to the vehicle. Beautiful still, um, holding up extremely well. And uh, in 2021, it was acquired by a, a good client of mine out of Fort Myers, Florida, uh, who I'm assisting in selling the car. And the technical color, silver pearl. Beautiful color. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, let's pop the hood. Yeah, start it up too. We'll listen to these side pipes. modifications or anything you should know about this? No, nope, totally stock car. Uh, presentation as it would have been from the factory. Uh, power steering, power brakes. Again, this is the L79, 350 horse version of the 327. Numbers matching as it stated. Four speed is also numbers matching. Uh, just a fantastic presentation, you know, all stock looking. Cool. I already driven it a little bit too. It drives great. Yeah, yeah speaking of, let's go take yeah. it for a rip. Let's do it. So reverse has a lockout, you lift up and forward, just like you do in a lot of modern cars, and then it's a four-speed manual from there. Clutch engagement's pretty easy. Throttle's super responsive. This interior is just iconic. Absolutely. Love the wood steering wheel. I mean, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. My favorite is yeah. the dash with that waterfall in the middle. Yep. Clock's working. A lot of people ask if the clock is working. Yes, okay. it's ticking away. Uh, radio's working as well, AM, FM. Yeah. Full gauge package is all working. Everything so. looks great. Absolutely. Beautiful. And such an iconic view over that hood, too. Absolutely. You can't beat it with a big block stinger hood either. Yeah. It's about 35 degrees today. Great Beautiful convertible Michigan weather. Yeah. Beautiful convertible weather. You probably see my hands turning purple. <laughs> We'll take dry December days all month long. Yeah, especially before they put any salt on the roads. That's right. Pretty clean out today, which is great. Even the brakes feel good in this thing, man. Absolutely. Power discs, all four corners. 65 was the first year for discs. Feels so light. Nimble. Yeah, fiberglass body. Yeah. Uh, you know, pretty light package. How's that feel, Chris? It feels awesome. <laughs> I'm loving this, man. If I were to get a classic, something like this would just be, this would be the ticket. Yeah, these are high on a lot of people's lists. You yep. know, just for the driving experience, the design, the history of them. Handles fantastic. well, looks fantastic, makes the right noises. Absolutely. Can't wow. beat it with side pipes. Yeah. <laughs> now, I've had big block cars too. Uh, they're great, they got a ton of power, a lot of fun, but I'm a small block guy with these cars, you know, it just you can wind them up, really hear the exhaust note, especially through the side pipes. A lot of fun. Yeah, just a fantastic motor. Oh, jeez. 
What a joy. Yeah, with a with a big block car, it's really nose heavy. You know, you don't get the same uh, performance in the turns. But they have their own purpose. Sure. Yeah, this is very easy to drive, super manageable. Newer tires on here too. That helps. Yeah, Coker red lines. Yep. And uh, no, I know a lot of people ask about the uh, turbine wheels with the spin-off. They're Western Kelsey Hayes, so they're the real wheels that come from the Kelsey Hayes tooling, but they were manufactured later. So they weren't manufactured in period between 64 and 67, but um, for all intents and purposes, they're, they're real reproductions of the original uh, tooling. Cool. Gotta enjoy these cars. Absolutely. And who needs a radio when you got this symphony? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Play your own music. Yeah, I don't want to stop driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the car's only got about 3,200 miles on it since the restoration in 2012. So it's been driven a bit, it's all worked out as kinks. You know, great run and drive and turnkey example. I just bought a Civic Type R. I don't know what bidding's at on this, but currently at seventy-two thousand with about five days to go. I'm all out of space in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a couple extra spots in my warehouse yeah, for you. You do. <laughs> A good one for the 3D audio. Yeah, I was like thinking to myself, let's just shut up and let, yeah. the, let the engine speak. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's so smooth to drive. Feels great. It's just, I mean, this is one of the easiest classics I've ever driven, I think. Yeah, no loose ends with it. It's really tight. Yep. Well done vehicle. Yeah. I believe in the commentary, uh, one gentleman uh, asked him, you can put a hard top on these. And yes, you can. This one didn't have it, uh, but about 30% of buyers chose it in 66. So yeah, you can definitely put a hard top on these if you uh, acquire one. If I owned it, I'd never have a top off. Oh, just leave leave the top off all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we got to start doing horn tests in all these classics. Absolutely, it's important. Well, in the true sense of a BAT video, we like to show that everything works. Absolutely. There's nothing in up on this car. Everything works. That's what you want. Yeah. Brakes work. Brakes work awesome. <laughs> A lot of confidence. <laughs> Fantastic. 
fantastic. Cool, man. Well, thanks again. Appreciate you letting me take this out. Absolutely. Uh, came into your shop last week and saw this. I said, oh, we got to take this for a drive. Well, I'm glad I was able to convince you to put the top down. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'll drive convertibles in any weather. It doesn't absolutely. matter. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So if anyone has any questions, you can always uh, reach out via the contact seller button. Happy to provide a shipping quote and answer any other questions you might have uh, while it's on Bring a Trailer. Cool, guys. We'll throw the link in the top comment. And, uh, yeah, happy bidding and hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a fun one. the car do the talking the rest of the way and then we'll walk around this one more time and that'll be it thanks for watching we'll see you later Beautiful. <laughs> that was great, man. That was great. That's super fun, man. Oh, yeah. It's wow. a great car. I could tell you didn't want to stop driving it. Nope. <laughs> I was like, we're going. Yeah. We got enough fuel. I think that's never been one of these, and I cannot wait to take her for a drive in it because she's going to want one. I want one. Yeah, they're so cool. Yeah, what a just a wonderful driver. Man, that's fun. And, you know, a lot of nice amenities, too, like power steering. That oh, makes man. it easy. Oh yeah. The only thing this car doesn't have that it could have is power windows. Okay. Yeah. And it's a got tilt roll. column. And a tilt column. Oh yeah. All right. So, uh, but yeah. I mean, other than that, it's pretty well optioned. That's great. The color combo is pretty pretty rare, actually. Being a silver over silver, most silver ones either had black or blue. Okay. Which I like it with the blue interior as well. Yeah, the blue sharp. I've yeah. seen those. Yeah. So, uh, whoever picked silver had had good taste. Yeah. Iconic car. That's for sure. Yeah. Tom had, his brother had one of these that was just sitting in the garage in high school and they were restoring it. And I, all I remember is just the side pipes. Yeah. And the rest of the car was covered and the side pipes were like sticking oh, out. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> Some of these get like crazy expensive. Like if you want a big block 67, the 435 horse, then you want it with all the pedigree. I mean, you're talking 350. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. But those are, they're not drivers. The guys who buy those was as an asset for his portfolio. Sure, you know? sure. So, was there the L88 there with was. these two? Okay. Those bring a million plus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen those at the uh, Corvette Museum. Yeah. So are these, ham you hammer them on? Yeah, there's a hammer that comes with it that doesn't damage them. It's a soft metal, because this is a harder metal. Okay, sure. And But so the hammer is all, the hammer is right here. Oh, cool. It gets damaged. Oh, wow, neat. Yeah. Huh. That's really funny. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I've never seen that. Cheese, yeah, I bet. That's, That's so cool. Yeah, I guess rubber wouldn't really be able to have the impact force no. to tighten a wheel enough. Yeah, they got that really, really soft grade of the alloy, whatever okay. the hell it is. Huh. Uh, aluminum or and something. And you get a new hammer later. That's it. <laughs> Hammers are cheaper to replace. Absolutely. <laughs> are you cold yet? Let's pull this thing in. All right.